hello and welcome to the Borealis Experience. I'm your host Aurora, life coach and companion on this beautiful journey called life. I'm so happy to be spending some time with you today. I hope you are in a good place. I hope I can bring you value, hope, love, understanding. The most important mission I have with my podcast is that I provide you with tools that help you to get to know yourself better. The better you know yourself, the better decisions you're going to make and the more content and fulfilled you're going to be, which in turn is going to deeply affect the people, the environment around you. Today I want to talk about compliments. What are the thoughts, the feelings that come up when I speak out this word, compliment? I want to compliment you. I have so much respect for you for being here because chances are you are a person with a growth mindset, you are an entrepreneur, you are a parent, you are a lover, you are just a very decent human being who wants to live up to their potential and be their best version. I'm proud of you. You can be proud of yourself. How do you react when you receive a compliment? Do you blush? Do you accept? Do you reject and decline? Do you make fun of people that give you a compliment? Do you give compliments easily or are you hard to impress? I feel we can give each other so much energy in complimenting, speaking out a compliment. It is so important to acknowledge the people around you, to truly see them for who they are, to see their efforts and what they are accomplishing, doing, but especially who they are. Who are you? What is special about it? to be you? How do you perceive the world? When you receive a compliment, you have touched something in another person. Yes, there is genuine compliments and dishonest compliments. But let's just talk about the honest compliments today. If somebody wants to give you a compliment, you have triggered something positive inside of them. They see something in you that you might not see in yourself. I feel that a lot of times when we reject a compliment, it is because we don't see ourselves the same way that other people perceive us. And every time that's the case, so every time you reject a compliment, you don't want to accept a compliment, I feel that's where we have to go deeper and find out what is going on here. Why do you have a, a weird negative perception of yourself and how can we heal that? Do you freely give away genuine compliments or do you never really acknowledge the people around you do you show appreciation it is so important when you want to have a deep connection with the people around you and it doesn't have to be your romantic partner it can be your parents your siblings um, other relatives your friends acquaintances a stranger in the street One little rule I live by is to leave the people in a better mood than how I found them. And sometimes a compliment just does it, <laughs> just does the trick. It can make another person stay. If they receive it well, you can really make a positive little 
imprint on their heart. And isn't that so magical and beautiful and worth trying? So, over the next couple of days, I want you to notice things and people around you. I want you to acknowledge actions, gestures, behaviors that deeply touch you, impress you, make you feel good about yourself or about other people. And if you're not there yet to express it, then just notice it. Just start by noticing it. But if you feel ready, I encourage you to express it, to show gratitude, appreciation. Show that you're deeply impressed by another person. We never know what's going on in another person's life. You know, they might have a really tough and shitty day. And then you come along and share this beautiful, genuine compliment with them. And all of a sudden, they see the good in humanity again. All of a sudden, they feel better about themselves again. All of a sudden, they feel energy to accomplish the next steps that they need to take on that day. We all have to become a little bit more aware on what deep of an impact we have on each other. And once we know that, once we are aware of this, we have to own that power and make the best of it. The way you impact people is the way that people are going to remember you. The way you make people feel is what they're going to be thinking of when they think of you. It is an incredibly beautiful experience to be noticed, to feel acknowledged, to feel seen and heard. You know that. So try to give that to other people. And we can all make this planet a little bit more kind, a little bit more magical and beautiful again. And it costs you absolutely nothing. Just a couple words. Just a deep look in the eye. A smile. A tap on the shoulder. Very, very simple and powerful at the same time. All right. I'm going to leave you with that. With all my love and care. Thank you so much for sharing with the people around you, with loved ones. And if you want to send me a little appreciation, donations through my Buy Me A Coffee link are highly appreciated for me to continue this beautiful little podcast for me to make this work, yeah, sustainable and most impactful on our society. Take really good care of yourself, and I'll be out there very soon again. Bye-bye.